Señor, It is so hot. <laughs> I'm dying. I am feeling that laziness today. <laughs> I think that's all the normal folks. Tears won't be joining us today. Um, so I'm going to kind of get into it now. Everything's body work, um, body weight. You won't need anything except for a mat um, today um, and some space to move around and do, um, you guys are, I got two screens. So just some space to move around and to do uh, jujitsu and shrimping, which is something that we're going to do today. But we're going to kind of hop into our workout faster than normal because we're going to start with the very good hip mobility uh, and stretching routine, which is also gonna get the blood circulating for um, some light strength work. Is I, I like to think of it as corrective strength work. And these are actually movements that I do uh, a lot. Um, and it's really helped me with my hip mobility. Uh, one thing that I do want to add with this is, um, where is my, I have those canes. Oh, I put it outside. I'll be right back. So, um, I do um, use um, the lacrosse balls a lot and that's really helped me with my um, hip mobility but also this cane thing, it's really, man, I think it was last week, I was, I was making love to myself with this thing for like two hours. I just got in like all those parts of my neck and my back 
and they're not really expensive, but um, they're not easy to come by. There's some that look less like this candy cane shape and more like an S. Um, and you can loop it around your body to uh, dig into all these knots in your back, in your neck, in your chest. Um, you can kind of just jab it down and work it into your legs too. Uh, it really, really works. So if you're working in um, trying to increase your range of motion, Kathy, I know that this is kind of your week today. We're going over both a fitness class and hopefully um, a hallway jujitsu class where we can talk more about your technique so far as um, guard reposition. Um, it's really gonna help you. So um, I think the things that's really helped me increase my range of motion are these exercises that we're gonna start the class with and also a, a softball and just um, working uh, my glutes on uh, a hard surface, actually, a hard elevated surface. Um, so let me just demonstrate that real quick. Uh, we're not gonna get into it today, but maybe next week or something, we can do just the trigger point class. And it's really something that I can do, especially because I've really suffered a lot too with my hip range of motion or just tightness in my hips and my glutes and my quads and hamstrings. Um, I, I'd be on that thing for like a full hour or two hours sometimes. Um, so I'll just demonstrate real quick. The glutes and hamstrings are something that's really difficult to get into. And I noticed for myself that if I have a hard elevated surface, uh, like if you're at the gym, there's those step ups where you can kind of, you can stack, stack them and you put the top layer of the step up thing. I, I used to use that a lot when I was at 24 hour fitness, uh, when I used to work there, but now I have this. And then um, at physique, there was like a large wooden bench that I would use very much like this. And I just put my glutes underneath it or the ball right underneath my glutes and sit and kind of elevate myself and move around. And um, I'm able to get into my glutes really well here. If you don't have an uh, elevated surface, you can try it on um, like just your floor, like Sarah, I see you have a mat space. Um, if you, and then some, several other people have a floor, I recommend using a hard surface because your glutes are, it's a big, your glutes and your hamstrings are big, dense muscles, and it can be really difficult to get into them unless you're super, super tight. And most girls are just tight enough where it's, it's, uh, the muscle that you actually need to work is super deep. So it, it'll be difficult for you to get into it uh, without elevating yourself, but you can still get into it just on a flat surface if you're on the floor, but definitely use a hard surface. If you use carpet or a mat, you'll, you'll get some give and then you won't get in as deep, but softball, not lacrosse ball, a softball, because your glutes are and your hamstrings are big, dense muscles. Uh, definitely use that. Um, the foam roller is good, but the foam roller, it doesn't get in as deep. Um, the foam roller for me, it just kind of, you know, it's kind of like um, those pancake things. This is like a deep tissue massage. It gets in there and it really breaks up all those little knots in your glutes and your hamstring. So uh, these movements plus trigger point therapy uh, plus your strength exercises will help you increase your range of motion. So with that being said, we're all gonna start out, uh, start standing and we're gonna start with hip circles. So I'm gonna elevate um, all of my cameras. So you guys can see me standing. Oh my God. 
now. That pool sounds so good. It's hot. Okay. Make sure you guys can see my hips at least. Hips, 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 hips. So, what is that song? Tonto, jump on it. Dun, dun, dun. So, I'm going to take you guys through. Um, some hip circles and hip movement. So we're gonna start just by circling in a smooth circle, pushing your hips to the side, one side and the other. And I like to start off slow and really push my hips as far as I can and smooth it out to the back and then push it as far as I can to the right and really stretch forward, squeezing my hips forward and back. Now, one thing you, you can do when you're starting is there's that tick movement, tick, 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 boom, and then you kind of circle it around. I'm doing similar ticks, so my hips are going into heavy in one hip, heavy in the other hip, so I'm able to switch, and then I'm gonna push my hip out. And if you're really tight in your groin, you might feel some pull here, and really push and stretch, hold there for a second, and then push yourself forward right really push and push into the sockets of your hip joints as much as you can the uh you don't necessarily need your feet um narrow but not too wide into a straddle if you have your feet like jackie you can open up your feet a little bit more if you have your feet a little wider than shoulder hip width distance apart then you'll really be able to get into your hips yeah and then allow your whole body to sweep that now. Bring your hands up and then just bring Let your spine get all noodly and loose. And then we'll switch to the other side. Around. Around. Yeah, Kathy. All right, Kathy, you gotta move them hips. So we're gonna go back into it. I'm gonna watch you. So we want your hips and your upper body to move together, right? Um, not just our upper body moving, but yeah, your whole hips. And then back. Okay, so we're gonna come back into the center and then we're gonna drop into a straddle stretch. So feet open uh, as wide as you can control and then you'll bend over like this down a little bit. You guys can see me from here. And down and then we'll stretch to the side and move your hips left and right. So your hands will be on the ground. I'm softly bending my knees left and right so that my hips can move left to right. And if I'm straightening, say my right leg, I'm shifting my weight into my left and bending my left knee. That'll really allow me to stretch my hip socket and my groin muscle on that right side. Just shift left and right and kind of allow your spine to move with it as well. And this is stretching your obliques. Good. Now from here, we're gonna bend our left leg, keeping the, your instep on the floor, right? So yeah, just like that, Amy, that's good. I'm gonna bring the other camera down so you guys can see. All the way to the floor. So this foot is like this, okay? So I'm sliding here, and then I'm down in this position. You get a good stretch in the groin. And if you pull away, you'll open this hip up a little bit more. Squeeze, and then we're gonna face our toes and point our toe to the ceiling. This toe is gonna point to the ceiling. And then you're gonna push yourself forward, right? Good. 
if you reach for your toe. Nice. And now both hands on the ground, we're gonna push ourselves back. So I was here, I'm pushing myself back, right? Coming back up. And then we'll use our uh, hands if you need to, to come up to the other side. Now we're gonna bend over to the other side. Boom, stretching. You pull away, you'll get deeper into this groin muscle. And then we're gonna lift our toes to the sky, face our toes and push yourselves forward into a deep hamstring stretch. Now push yourselves back to our feet. Good. And then back up. So I'm really gonna watch Kathy. Who's got it right now? Who, who kind of got the flow? Raise your hand. I think Sarah, you've got it, right? So everybody follow Sarah. I'm gonna watch you, Kathy, as you do it. So you can get to it. So go ahead, Sarah. Start with the straddle. There you go. So yeah, good job, Kathy. Now, point toes to the ceiling. Push forward into this hamstring stretch. So go ahead, and if you can't push forward, Kathy, just stay there. Good. Now push yourself a little forward more, um, Michelle, so you're not sitting on your foot. There you go, just like that. Good job, good job. Now back, good job. Kathy, you're still in the same position and then push yourself up. Oh, you're going back up, Kathy. There you go, to the other side. So just side bend, yes, there you go. Nice, stretch into that groin muscle. Now turn and face your toes. Stretch here. Now push yourselves back. And go back standing. And then we'll do one more time. One more time through. I'm watching everybody. Good job, Cha. Bend. So try to stay forward. There you go. So, Kathy, here's this. Your instep should be flat. So my toe is, I'm trying to move my foot so you can see it. My toe is flat this way when I'm stretching my groin muscle. Depending where your toe is facing, you're gonna either stretch your groin, if your toe is facing up, you're gonna stretch your hamstring. You're gonna be two different muscles in your inner leg that you wanna stretch, right here. Now you're gonna flip your toe up to the ceiling and just hold, don't push yourself to the ground, just hold here, right? The more range you'll get, then you'll be able to push yourself down to the ground. But just stay here, then push yourself back up, toe facing the ground to the groin stretch, and then push yourself back up. Good. Now we'll do the other side. So toe facing the ground. Yeah, in step, in step. So be on your in step toe, big toe facing the ground, really get into that groin. Yep, and then toe to the sky to stretch your hamstring. Good, and then back toe down to the ground, and then up, yeah, that's it, there you go. All right, good. So that's the first uh, flow that you do. The, the more you do that one, and the more your body will open up to it. it really stretching is just kind of like a pain tolerance thing, um, uh, and your nerves will begin to get used to that, to that limitation, and then that's when it'll start to relax and uh, break. Do I have any? Why do I feel like I have some notifications? It looks like I'm good. Okay, the next one is going to be 
um, our side lunge. So we're going to do our side lunges. This is just a strength-based movement. So it's the same movement we were doing before, but we're actually going to do five lunges left and right. So we're going to keep our instep to the ground, right? Whichever instep is on the ground, we're going to bend our knee on the opposite side. All right, so I'm going to bend my left leg and my right instep is going to be on the ground. Try and keep your hands from um, touching the ground and only go as low as you can control. So it'll look like this. I'm down and then up and then down and then and then down. All right, so we're each going to do five left. So down, up, that's one, down, up, two, there you go, down, three, down, four, good, down, and five. Now we'll switch to the other side. Down, one, down, two, down three, down, try to keep your body upright as much as you can, four, down, good, five, back to the other side, up, one, two, good, three, four, one more, five, good, other side, one, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, last set, one, two, down, three, down, four, down, and five. Other side, down, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, and five. Give that a rest. Okay, now we're gonna do forward lunges. This one is um, a really good one. I think I'm gonna face this camera. Make sure you guys can see my poses. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is different than your straight up and down lunge. So our straight up and down lunge looks like this usually where you have a staggered stance, and then we're just going straight up and down, right? See how the path of this front leg is relatively straight up and down. Now for this range of motion exercise, we're actually gonna push ourselves forward, and we want to get our hamstrings to touch our calves. Um, for, like if I was doing this with a weight, I wouldn't put my knee to the ground as I'm going through this motion, but because I'm gonna work on really both strengthening and increasing range of motion in my um, groin muscles and also my Achilles, I'm actually gonna push myself forward and allow my back knee to touch the ground. So it looks like this. I'm gonna shoot forward like I'm going down an escalator. So it looks like this, boom, 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 right? And I wanna keep my heel on the ground as much as possible. So I, if my heel's lifting up, that means I'm lacking range of motion in my Achilles and in my um, ankle. So I really wanna to try to get, my, get as low as possible and push myself forward where my knee is almost about to pass my toes. So I have this lean to in my um, structure and you see my back knee is on the ground all right so when we're here we're going to push ourselves back like we're coming up the escalator right good 
So we're gonna do five, three times left and right. Ready, let's go. Try to be on your toes on your back leg. And down, knee to the ground, push yourself forward and then back. One, and then back, two, there you go, three, good, four, five, give yourself a nice hamstring stretch. Lift your front toe and then push your butt back and then we'll switch legs. So we'll be here and now we're going to go down that escalator. So we're gonna push ourselves forward and then back. One. And then back. Two, three, four, and then back. Five, hamstring stretch on this side. Bend over, switch legs. This will be our last set of this one. Oh no, we'll be able to get two more in. Two more. Two more sets. Ready and down. And push yourself back. One, try to keep your heel on the ground. Four, two. For you, Kathy, keep your knee on the ground. Your back knee on the ground and just work on, yeah, just work on your range of motion here. So be here in this stance where I am now. And then we're just going to push ourselves forward and backwards and really try to work on that Achilles stretch. That's it. Yeah. And then back. And then down. Three. Back. Down. Four. Back. And down. And five. And switch. legs and down one down two down three down four down and five good switch sides last one All right, and down. One, up, down, up, two, down, three, down, four, down, and five. Other side, last side, and then we're gonna get into our workout. Ready, and down. One, down, two, down, three, back, down, oops, I'm losing my balance too. Four, and down, and five. All right, there's, I actually have more hip opener uh, exercises. Um, and we're gonna do one more before we get in there. And that's just a simple frog stretch. So you're gonna be here on your hands and knees like a tabletop position. And then you can bring your elbows down and open up your knees to the side as much as you can. And first you wanna start with your feet kind of out like a froggy. 
and try to get your hips as low as you can from here. And you hold and breathe in for about five breaths. So start with an exhale and inhale. Release and allow yourself to sink deeper every time you exhale. On your last exhale, I want you to shift your hips forward where your hips are practically going to touch the ground. Keep your knees on the ground and shift your legs left and right. So you really are opening up those hip joints. And try to keep your lower abs engaged. So you don't want to be too lax here. You really still want to suck in your lower abs as much as you can and shift left to right. No circle back into our knees. This is my typical hip opener warm up. Yeah. And down, right? So um, regular practice. I think I do these just about every day. And it's really made a difference in my, um, in the openness of my hips. Um, all right, so today is our shrimping uh, workout. We've done this workout before, but I've um, upgraded it. So the first few exercises, we're gonna do a uh, rocking, um, I call it the rocking technical stand-up. So we're gonna be on our backs first, and then we're gonna rock up. So let's see if that's what we should do. Yeah, this way is probably the best way. So we're gonna be here, rock up, and then shoot our hips forward and then back. Boom, boom, right? And try to get your foot behind um, your leg when you rock up. Be mindful of your space. So I'm coming out and then my back leg, if you see, it switches out and I curl myself to my toes and I'm pushing my hips forward. So I'm really coming up. And then we're gonna rock back. Boom, boom. That's the first exercise for 30 seconds. Second one, this is gonna be the nonstop longer workout for today. Um, it might get cut short or we might go over time. We'll see how it goes. Um, the next one is gonna be our rocking bridge. So this is different than just your regular glute bridges. Um, we want to rock and explode. So we're gonna be here on our back. I want you to rock forward like as if you had somebody on your belly and you need to get them moving, especially a du big dude. If you've ever had somebody mount on top of you and they're bigger and more experienced, just bridging from here is not gonna help. So we're gonna keep our body hollow, rock up, and then explode, rock up, and then explode, all right? So we got that for 30 seconds, and then we're going to do just our normal two-foot uh, shrimp. We'll repeat that, and then the second time we'll do our normal single leg shrimp. So for Jackie, where's Jackie? There she is. Okay, shrimping Jackie. We have both our feet together. We push it to the side, and then we're gonna push our butt out. And for the purposes of this exercise, since we don't have a home mat space, unless you do, just pull yourself back in, right? Feet to the side, always, never stay centered. You always bring your feet outside of your hips and then you push your butt out and then you pull yourself back in. All right, single leg shrimp. You have a dead leg, but out to the side and you're like you're scraping somebody off of your body, pushing your hips down and then back. Boom, dead leg, scraping somebody off of your body. Boom, and then back. I'm trying to show this as fast as I can um, so we can get into the workout. Second exercise is a single leg bridge. If your glutes or hips are strong enough, we've been doing this a lot, so I don't think I need to demonstrate it too much, but I will say this. If your glutes aren't strong enough, just do a single leg bridge hold. So we're just gonna hold our hips up for the 30 seconds, squeeze your glutes and bring them as high as you can. 
If your glutes are strong enough, then you're coming up and down, up and down, up and down for the full 30 seconds. And then you'll get the notification for you to switch legs and come up and down. All right. After that, we're going to do our bridge and shrimp. So we're going to bridge, keep our hips up, bring our foot outside our body, and then shrimp, keeping our hips off the ground. Pull yourself back in and then back to the other side, hips off the ground as you shrimp this time. We're going to repeat the single leg bridge exercise and then we're going to go for side control shrimp. So side control shrimp is different. We're going to be face, I'm facing the camera so I can move down the length of this mat and I'm really back arching as much as I can and then shrimping sideways, right? Try not to hit my head, All right? So that's what we're gonna do for a minute. After that, we're going to move on to um, bicycles first, bicycle, uh, bicycle abs. Good job, uh, Amy, doing the side control strip. So bicycles here, and then we have elbow planks. And then we're going to do forward shrimps. So forward shrimps is just we're moving ourselves to the side. So my leg stretches out like I'm walking to the side. I reach for my toes. I pull my butt in. And then I switch to the other side. Boom. All right. And then last shrimp will be shrimp to turtle. So when we do the shrimp to turtle exercise, I typically go for three shrimps. One, you can do single leg, you can do double leg, it really doesn't matter. So it's one, two, and then on the third one, I reach back, grab my leg, and then come into the turtle position. And then I'll switch to the other side. One, two, on the third one, I reach back, grab my leg, and then I'm back to the turtle. All right, you guys got it? Okay, I'm going to start my timer. Get your music, your water, whatever you like. There we go. Where's my share screen? Share screen. No. No. Cool. Oh, there it was, right there, exercise timer. <coughs> I want to see all my peoples. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ready. Okay. Starting in 14 seconds. Oh, she didn't give us a start. Let's start again. Sorry. Ready? And starting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go. Bridge, explosive bridge, explosive bridge. And explode. Rock them up and explode. Really slam your feet on the ground and explode your hips up. You're trying to explode somebody off of you. And double leg spin. So we got this for 30 seconds, a uh, whole minute. There you go.
people stand up to your knees. Single leg turn. So we have our dead leg and then we're scraping the person off. So we're going to do single leg bridges now. Leg in the air, hold, or bring your hips up and down. It's really, if you're just holding really every second, you're trying to squeeze higher, harder, and longer, keeping everything stable. Two. Keep your hips up. Or so but never really touches the ground. We're shrimping. But up shrimping. But No leg bridge, but to it, holding up. Thank you. 
flight control shrimps. So we're going to be on our side this time. We extend ourselves back and then we shrimp ourselves to the side. Bend yourself back, shrimp to the side, extend back. It's like a sidewinder. Yep. And then you switch so, the other way. Other shoulder, try to face the camera. Bicycles on our backs. Bicycle up, up, up. Switch over. Back to the plank, and hold, butt down, squeeze your elbows together, push your chest away from the floor. Back on your back, forward shrimps. So I'm reaching for my toes, and I'm using this back leg to push my butt forward. And I step to the other side, reach for my toes, and push this back leg push my butt. Boom. Boom. Bicycles. Uh. 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 Last one's going to be shrimp to turtle. Four, two, one, shrimp to turtle. Shrimping, shrimping. And time. 
we're gonna time that workout complete. Um, I thought it looks like I accidentally programmed this for to repeat three times. That's okay. That was a good one. All right, I'm gonna stop. Sandy, where is it? Okay, stop share. All right, so let's. We have some time. So let's end it by uh, the straddle stretch, which is a straddle stretch and pigeon. Um, is my video stopped? Well, it looks my, like my other video stopped, but I'm just gonna do this. So we're gonna do a straddle stretch to pigeon. So we start in the shadow. Just open your legs up wide. My legs are all sticky. And then uh, we'll start by reaching forward as far as you can. As you can see, I'm not particularly flexible here. <laughs> but if you are, feel free to go into pancake. And then we'll just walk our hands to the left and pull yourself to your left leg. Keep your hands on the inside. Work here for a bit. And then walk your hands to the right. And like everything, I like to make circles. So try to circle here, do five circles in one direction. And then switch the direction, five circles other. Good, now this one's gonna be interesting. You're gonna try to do this without your hands. My legs are super sticky, so um, I might look stupid doing this, but you're going to essentially try to pull your legs into an S. So if I'm facing this way, my heel is going to pull towards me inside the, um, you see this funnel? So this front leg is going to pull towards inside of the funnel. This back leg is pulling towards the outside. So I'm here, I'm facing this way, and then I'm going to push my legs out. I'm going to turn the other way, and then I'm going to pull myself other way, right? And then try to do this without hands and try to keep it as fluid as possible. Yeah, so it's like you're pulling your heels in. So I'm pulling my heels in and then pushing them out and then pulling them back in. Good. And then pushing them out. Good. This is the third one, pulling them in and then pushing them out, keeping your heels connected to the ground the whole time, and then pulling them in, and then pushing them out. Now this time we're gonna go into full pigeon pose. So you're gonna pull your leg in, right? And then you're gonna straighten that back leg and lean forward into that pigeon pose, and then push your legs out back into the straddle and pull your legs in facing the other way. And then extend that back leg. Allowing yourself to fall into pigeon. And then pushing yourself back out to straddle. Good, Just two more times. Pull yourself in, back to pigeon. Straighten that back leg. Lean forward. Push yourself back out to straddle. Other side, pull in, straighten that back leg, and melt into it. Push yourself back into straddle. Last set here, pull in, lean forward. and then back out and then 
Keyboard. And then put yourself back. All right, ladies, that is class for today. How does everybody feel? More flexible. <laughs> How you feel, Jennifer? Good. Good. It's like thumbs up. How are you, Kathy? How are you, how is your body? Hi. Doing well. It's a party going on in your house. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's got her own thing going. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I have a question for you. So we today, this week was your week for um, like setting the tone for jujitsu. And I am excited to help you with uh, your guard. I wanted to know what is your guard of choice? What are the, what is the guard that you typically go for? Uh, mostly closed guard. Okay, perfect. And uh, yeah. Okay, mostly closed guard. And um, when you're going for closed guard, where do you often find yourself losing the position? Is it like on the entry or when you have somebody's in closed guard and then they're, um, you're not able to control them down? You know, they usually try to stand up or, Okay. you know. And at that point, sometimes you can get a sweep, but yeah. if you can't, uh, sometimes, you know, they'll pass your guard. Okay. Uh, what is the day of the week that works best for you to do the technical aspect of this class for hallway jiu-jitsu? Oh, uh, you know, my schedule is constantly changing. I mean, I haven't, I haven't set a month, you know, months ahead, but I mean, there are some days I'm working. It's just all over the place. But I'm generally usually free after six, six o'clock. Usually, not always, but um, starting Mondays, I think I'm gonna have to do some classes though for my partner. They're like baby classes or something, you know, training classes. I don't know, breathing class. I don't know what they are. Something to do with breathing and birthing classes. I don't know. Are you having a baby? Uh, yeah, my partner's uh, pregnant right now. Oh, congratulations I didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah Mondays are not gonna be good soup for a couple months for a month or so okay and then you know sometimes I have Tuesday afternoon evening uh, meetings sometimes but I don't know just generally speak I try to come whenever I can it's just yeah. it's just never it's always moving around are you able to do this Thursday at 6 or 6 30 for a hallway jujitsu yeah okay Let's do it. Yeah. All right. We got a class, you guys. We're going to go over guard reposition. I'm super excited. Um, I think this is going to be a really great class for everyone, especially since we're talking about closed guard. And uh, my passion lately has been self-defense. So I'm definitely going to keep that aspect in, especially if you have somebody in your guard and you're trying to keep them controlled. The last thing we want in a self-defense situation is for that person to get out when we didn't dictate that it's time for them to get out, right? Because that's when we're going to get punched in the face or something bad can potentially happen. Um, Chad, do you have anything to add since you're one of the four elements instructors? Anything that you wanted to say? Anything that you wanted to like promote for your class? This, this Your class is on Fridays, right? It's on Wednesdays and Fridays, yeah. Okay. Uh, promote, I don't know. Uh, we're doing lapel chokes this week. Like your own gi lapel chokes. Awesome, cool. Yeah. So chokes are really great, especially in the clothes guard as well. So I do a lot of moving stuff. Um, and uh, so the, we'll go over some submissions if you don't you know if you're walking on the street you're not wearing your gi and then you can get into more like closed guard scenarios in Chaw's class on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays 
In the meantime, does anybody have any questions, remarks, takeaways, anything that you want to see improved in my Monday class today? Is there another jujitsu class on Thursday? When does when does that one end? It, it ends at six thirty. Um, it's not jujitsu. It's, it's well, it's gymnastica, and then kickboxing is ends at six thirty. Oh, okay. So if you do it at six thirty, that would be six thirty would be good. Yeah. 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 I'll try to go gymnastica. Yeah. All right, you guys. Anything else? Nope. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank All you. Right. I'll see you guys yeah. later. Take care. Yeah. Have an awesome rest of your day. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thanks. Bye.